2020, oh, schools are closed, got to get the science shows to the libraries, I think I have an overdue library book, can you go to jail for that, oh I don't want to go to jail, I don't want to go to the big house, oh no, don't send me to prison, I don't want to go in the slammer, Daniel, wake up, you're having a bad dream, <laughs> I'm going to be late for the CTL at Showcase! Yeah! Hello, I'm Daniel of Daniel G. Bennis Science Shows and ScienceShows.Tech. I know because it says so right there and right there. Or is it there and there? Or is it there and there? I don't know. It's right there. Haha. <laughs> anyway, happy Friday to you or Saturday, depending on when I upload this video. Well, yesterday or the day before, depending on when I upload this video, I did a Zoom Science Theater for the awesome students at Austin Tinkering School. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I filled this entire area of AKA I hijacked a large portion of our living room and we couldn't watch TV for two days or three depending on who you're talking to anyway uh, it was awesome uh, we explored that that video is online you can you can take a look at that part one uh, well this is gonna be part two so uh, I have redone all the science here put some amazing new science up and I would love to give you a quick tour of what we did um, and then at the end invite you um, to invite me to invite us to do this together in the zoom science theater in your living room where you can't watch TV for once. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. So right over here, first thing we did was I, uh, I did a little show and tell of the, some of the very first early computer core memory. This is what powered the Apollo missions in the Saturn V rocket up to the moon, okay? Very cool stuff. I also showed some, uh, early, or some newer flash memory, like that right there, and I showed some of my very favorite technology that uses this memory, gonk. Out there. Yeah, you're right, I don't. Okay, so over here, uh, we also demonstrated ultraviolet light and the amazing powers and the dangers of it. So, um, yeah, so check this out. You have some blue light and then you've got some crazy liquid, but what happens? You put them together, you get a different kind of light. Ultraviolet light can excite things and make them glow. We learned about that today. Uh, speaking of ultraviolet, ultraviolet light, uh, safety goggles on, we also demonstrated the dangerous power of ultraviolet light with a super high powered ultraviolet laser. Uh, you wanna zoom in all the way up here and just check this out? Yeah, check that out. And all right, here we go. So this is what we did to show the crazy danger of ultraviolet light. Do not try this at home. Woo! <laughs> Science, all the eyebrows. Anyway, super cool st uh, stuff. And we also talked about and demonstrated how you can actually cause uh, metal to catch on fire with a rock. Great survival trick if you know how to do it right. Um, speaking of uh, that kind of thing, uh, sparks, we also demonstrated that science can also be magical. Ouch. <laughs> speaking of magic, speaking of magic, and lost eyebrows, science definitely can be magical. So I would like to demonstrate quickly one of the things that I showed the kids today with a great enchantment if you would like to use science in the form of magic. Let's try this now. Here we go. I think I've got the incantation ready. Luminificatus! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool, but off! Let's bring that up a notch. I've got right back here some more science that I showed the children. And in the form 
of frozen carbon dioxide, and I happen to have here a carbon dioxide or dry ice atom smasher. Let's go ahead and take this piece right here and drop it right down into our atom smasher. All right, and let's see what happens when science really becomes magical. Luminifocatus! And here we go, Expulso! Stop, uh, turn off a uh, stop, I guess. Uh, pull the plug us. Okay. Um, also, uh, let's see, what did we do? Ooh, we did a great experiment, a little demonstration. Uh, check this out, a balloon. And if you put that in a vacuum chamber, you turn it on, small balloon becomes a large balloon. Yeah. You should try that at your next party. It's a great party trick. Water vapor, it makes the air moist. Very cool. I will turn that off. And one of the other things that we did, one of my very, very favorite demonstrations of all, we recreated Mr. Thomas Elva Edison's experiment with the incandescent bulb. We broke one of these bulbs and got the filament out of it, put it inside of a vacuum chamber, pulled the vacuum on that, and ran voltage through it and we were able to recreate Thomas Edison's light bulb. And by the way, right here, I want to share something with you. This is an antique original Edison light bulb from the late 1800s. This is the real deal. This is an Edison light bulb with a screw in base and a carbon filament. And to be able to recreate Thomas Edison's light bulb experiment in my Zoom Science Theater, or WebEx or whatever else we want to use. I think it made Mr. Tommy Lightbulb pretty happy, didn't it? I think it did. I appreciate seeing some science still being done by you young whippersnappers. Uh, yeah, speaking of young, that is a demonstration that I have wanted to do my entire life since I was a child. Speaking of which, I have a photo of me as a child in my <laughs> a certain yearbook, my senior year. Check that out. There I am, right there. But wait a second. I'm not in science class. I'm sitting there with a keyboard in show choir. What? The science guy was a musician? You know what? I still am. I think I can recreate that photo exactly. Guess what? I still have the hat. The very same. Oh, still have the keyboard. The exact one. Yeah, getting close. Oh, similar glasses. I think these will work just fine. And what do you know? I got a microphone stand. That's right. Let's see if I can recreate my photo from the yearbook. You ready? Here we go. I'm in the 80s singing a love song because I have a broken heart. <laughs> yep, I still got it. Cool. Codependent music all the way. All right, guys. Well, that was a lot of fun. I'm so glad that you get to come along with me on this ridiculous uh, thing that we just did here. Uh, thank you to Deanna Whaley behind the camera for being my rock star. Um, and um, guys, with that, uh, I, I want to say let's go ahead and... Um, Let's head off into the future. Need my glasses on. Let's get them blinky, because why not? Yep, all right, and um, yeah, if you're gonna travel in the future, you, uh, I'm gonna do this with my white hat on. You need some of this. Yeah, that's right, yep, yep, little Star Wars action going out there, Mickey style, Mickey style. All right, and um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head off into the future here, so. Um, <laughs> time machine on my wrist guys it has been fun daniel g bennis from daniel g bennis science shows and science shows tech <laughs> if you would love for me to come and join you and bring some amazing science this is just the, the scratch of the surface uh, you can email me at science shows.tech at gmail.com that's science shows.tech t-e-c-h at gmail.com and I would love to chat with you about how we can bring some amazing science to your world because Half Science will travel using a Doctor Who wrist time machine. And uh, guys, I will see you 
in the future. Science all the things. Oh my god. Oh, that's just too much. That's too much. Um, one take. One take. Crazy. Hello, it's Daniel of Daniel G. Benna's Science Shows and ScienceShows.tech. And I had my second day uh, of my Zoom Science Theater with Austin Tinkering School. And um, I have a completely different set of science today than I did yesterday. So this is part two, Badu. Let's explore, shall we? Science, and then today, uh, in Badu, uh, we have an entire different set. So, you can't see it from there. I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod and let's have a look around and see all the cool stuff uh, that we did today, yeah. So, in Badu, let's explore, shall we? We shall. In part two, let's explore, shall we? We shall. This is part two, or part two. Anyway, I have a whole bunch more science going on, but you can't see it because the camera is not aiming down there at the science. It's aiming up there at the signs. <laughs> it's almost a dad joke. Almost borderline dangerous game you're playing, Daniel. Let's go explore, shall we? What the heck is even going on right now? Go. Wait, stop, no, because I'm, I'm, I'm... Hello, it's Daniel from Daniel G. Bennis Science Shows and ScienceShows.tech. Because it says so right there and there. Or is it there and there? Or is it there and there? It's there! Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, Hey, happy Friday, happy Saturday, whichever day it happens to be. So a couple days ago, or yesterday, depending on what day it may be, when I upload this, the living room got hijacked and turned into a big science thing and it happens all the time at our house, so yeah. I completely deconstructed that and set up an entire array of awesome brand new science, which you're about to see in this video, a padu. So with no further ado, let's check it out. Stop it there. That was perfect. No, because I was there. Uh. No, because I was there. Uh. Hello, this is Daniel. <sighs> cool. And my guitar strap broke on my keyboard and I had to use zip ties. <laughs> yeah, it's being held on by a zip tie. Hey, that's the 80s for you. It's <laughs> Or not. <laughs> 2020. You know, schools are closed. I gotta get the science to the schools and the libraries. The show must go on. Oh, the museums not open today. I think I have an outstanding library book. Can I go to jail for that? Oh, I don't want to go to the big house. Daniel, I don't... wake up, you're having a bad dream. Yeah, I'm going to be late for the CTL and showcase. Yeah. Oh, 2020, 20. the schools are closed. Charlie, come here. Oh, 2020, 20. the schools are closed. And then you're going to be like, Daniel, wake up, you're having a bad dream. And then I'm gonna go. Yeah, ah! I'm gonna be late for the CTLS showcase. And all that stuff. Hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna be late for the CTLS showcase. Ah! <laughs> 
Thank you.